YouTube Zookeeper. Uh, today's update, um, I've been working on the DIY Volkswagen Squareback, that's V-O-L-T-S, Wagon Squareback. This is a Leaf, Nissan Leaf High Voltage Relay, I'm not sure which generation. Um, they also call it the Main Relay, I guess. Um, this is the negative relay, this is the positive relay, I have this one marked right here. Precharge relay, precharge resistor, and then I have high voltage connections here and here, and I'll walk over my diagram, and I apologize, I could have made the diagram bigger, but um, anyway, I'm just mapping out what I've done. And I'm only dealing with high voltage in this video. I'm not talking about any of the smaller um, wiring that controls the relays. That's not even in the picture. So what do we have is coming in these, this is the battery terminal and this is the battery terminal so these go to the high voltage battery. And I could draw that on here as well but I didn't. Um, these two which be uh, in this video the leftmost um, relay, uh, relay terminals um, they are the load so this is power and this is load. This resistor simply, essentially this resistor is between these two terminals here. Um, the wiring's a little convoluted, they wrap around, you know. One thing I've noticed between Toyota and Nissan, having some Nissan parts and having some Toyota parts, Toyota 100%. It's easy to understand the way they lay things out, but, you know, teach their own. So what we have here is this terminal right here is connected to the negative relay battery terminal. This terminal right here, the brown one, so I suppose I could label these gray and brown, and this would be black. Okay, so the brown terminal here is wired through a 30 amp fuse to the battery right here. So my guess would be, and my plan is, to use this for charging. These two connections for charging because they connect directly to the battery. Um, additionally, and you can barely see it here, from this side, this smaller wire runs along here and it branches off and goes to the pre-charge relay right here through the pre-charge relay on this white cable and then comes up and connects to the pre-charge relay here. So it comes in here through the pre-charge relay, goes under the pre-charge relay and comes back out to right here. And then the pink wire of the pre-charge relay is connected again, convoluted way back underneath over to here. I mean, why not just turn this wire around and face it that way? I don't understand. Anyway, um, then we have the black terminal. This right here on the right side is connected to the battery relay ground. And on the right side, I'm sorry, the left side over here, this wire right here is connected over here to here. So the right the left, right big terminal, left little terminal, right little terminal, right big terminal. Okay, so that makes sense. This is connected to here. So this lays out all of the connections in this relay board for the high voltage system. And the reason I mapped this out is I don't think I'm going to use these at all, so I'm just going to tape them off. And then these two, I think I will use high voltage connections um, to enable battery charging. This will allow me to charge the battery um, through a separate set of contactors um, only when um, without powering up the rest of the uh, vehicle control unit. So anyway, we'll see. Anyhow, if you find these videos useful, helpful, entertaining, or even boring, please do consider sharing your misery with others. And like, share, subscribe, and potentially even support on Patreon.
Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Zookeeper out.